Okay, now I'm recording. Hey guys, it's Beth Edgman with the Crafty Edge and I am trying to redeem myself. I did this box that I got at the thrift store. It came with this gorgeous bell. It was just a black, this black, plain blah box. I don't know what thrift store I got it at, but I wanted to make it Christmassy because it screamed Christmas to me, but yet it didn't because it was just black and a gold bell. That was kind of old and vintagey looking, which I love, but I wanted it to be a little more Christmassy. So I decided to decoupage some napkins on there, and I'll show you the side that I decoupage the napkins. And then I just got crazy with it, and it ended up just not working. So I'm putting this material on here with decoupage, trying to um, redeem myself somewhat so I can surprise my friends on the Crafty Edge on Facebook tonight when I go live and show them that uh, I can <laughs> how much better it can be and how much better it can look. So, I thought that I would do a video for you guys while I'm doing this on um, YouTube. So, that is what we're doing. So, let me turn it around so you guys can see what we're working with. So, this is what it was before. This is what I decided to start doing, which started out really good and ended up really bad. But I got this gorgeous material at Joann's Fabric Store, and I've decided to try to decoupage this whole box in this material. So, I'm going to decoupage this box with you guys, and we're going to try and redeem myself. I'm going to try to redeem myself and make this lovely and really gorgeous. And so, when I go live tonight, I can show everybody what I ended up doing and tell them if they want to see the video, all they have to do is go to YouTube to find The Crafty Edge. And I would love it if you would subscribe if you like what I'm doing. I'm trying to get this built up so I can um, start going live on YouTube. I do go live every night on The Crafty Edge on Facebook. And uh, I just want to just, you know, expand my um, horizons. So, I'm trying to do, I'm trying to do uh, the... Uh, this also, I'm trying to do the YouTube. My grandchildren are so excited. They're like, you're doing YouTube? <laughs> they call me Yaya. And they, you know, all these kids love them some YouTube. So they are pretty stoked about it. They're so surprised. I guess they think that old ladies can't do it. <laughs> they can't be on YouTube too. But anyway, they're, they're five and six and four and three, so their experience is very limited with the YouTube. I'm just going down the side. I wish I had put my my paper down underneath this, but I did not do that, so I'm just going to go all the way down with my, and I'm using Mod Podge. It's not typically my choice of medium for decoupaging, but I want to um, keep it as I, th I like the thickness with the material. I think it just needs to have a thicker medium. So now I'm just going and I'm rubbing this down so that it does not um, wrinkle. We want it to be nice and tight. And I'm going to lift this up a little bit and stick a little bit of that material under. Well, I probably need to cut that material off. Hang on just a second. Let me get in here with my scissors. And get it where we want it to be. So I'm just cutting this so that I can fold this in and it be a nice uh, amount of fabric to fold in around my, uh, and I'm going to tuck that under down there. I will trim it off or file it off. Uh, I probably will use my, um, my, my sanding blocks to get the excess off that I don't need. But this, this material is so gorgeous. And I thought this would make just such a beautiful 
uh, box done in material. And so, um, I don't like to go live until later. I kind of have my girls trained that I, that's when we go. So, I didn't want to do this on a live just in case some of them had stuff going on. So, I thought, well, I could do a video and they could come back and watch it over here. So, um, that's what I'm doing. I'm doing a video because I do not have enough subscribers just yet to, um, to YouTube to be able to go live. But that is what... I am working on. I'm working on getting those subscribers so that I can go live on YouTube and I can also go live on uh, Facebook. I have two places that people can watch me. So, this is just matte Mod Podge finish. It's nothing that's out of the ordinary, easy to get. The material is material that I happen to get at Joann's. Now, you could get this material anywhere you find it. You could put any material that you like. You could use rice paper. You could use any media, anything you wanted to use on this uh, to decoupage it. This is just a choice that I, this is what I decided I wanted to use. So, I'm going to fold that down and tuck it so it'll dry. And so, I'm going to take this material in. And I'm just going to keep working around with my material and covering every little inch of every little thing I can. And then I'm going to get this all gorgeous. And then we're going to start adding elements to this. And I'm super stoked about it because <laughs> I messed it up so bad last night. I want everybody to know they can have faith that I can do it. I, uh, I got really flustered with it. And I was like, okay, I give. I give. I'm not going to do it. I just can't get this to work like I want it to work. So I'm just done with it. So I'm going to do this on here really nicely and really pretty. And then I'm going to add elements to hide whatever spots I need to hide, which there may be a few. And that's okay. I can see over here there's going to be a spot that I missed. And I'm okay with that because I can go back and fix it. There's always a way to fix stuff and that's what this was a great box so I was like I'm not gonna leave this undone I'm gonna fix it I'm gonna do something to make this fabulous so that I can have it and use it and, or somebody can buy it and love it I do have four booths in Oklahoma so I do sell in those booths a lot of what I craft I also do a lot of vintage and resell a lot of uh, stuff I find and purchase so that is another thing that I do with the stuff that I get and the stuff I make is I, you put it in those booths and sell it and make it, try to make it all wonderful and uh, fabulous for people. Okay, this is going to be awesome. Seriously, it's going to be awesome. It's already so much better than it was. We're just covering this thing up. We're just taking our Mod Podge and we're just taking this material and I got at uh, Joann's. Um, it was on sale. I don't remember exactly. I feel like it was like $9.99 a yard and it was on sale for 20 or 30% off. Um, and I got it because I was wanting to make a Santa Claus, which I'm thinking I'm still going to make. I may actually make it this weekend. I'm in an event this weekend. And I'm thinking I might actually make the Santa Claus this weekend. We'll see. I haven't 100% decided what uh, what I'm going to make yet. But definitely need to make something fabulous. So we're going to just get this to lay down. And then we're going to go back and we're going to cover whatever we need to cover. So I'm just going to keep working around this box. It's kind of like a present, you know. Like you just are cutting your kind of like you're wrapping a present, really. It really, truly is very similar to that idea. And so, um, we know we don't need this to go up like that. So, I'm going to cut this up here like this. And I'm going to lay that down. And I'm going to cut that to where it uh, ends up like that. Okay. And we're going to cut this side so that it ends nicely and neatly. And then we're going to fold it in, and we're just going to keep working until we get it all laid down like it needs to be laid down. 
So you just keep applying your Mod Podge and keep just keep working on on uh, making sure it's laid down nicely and neatly. And the nice thing is, is fabric tends to not be as wrinkly. It tends to be a little more manageable in ways. But let me tell you, it is a little more contrary. So like you really have to work with it more and lay it down more and really be more consistent with uh, pressure and stuff in certain spots, you know. And it and then it it tends to just be just fine. It tends to work out perfectly if you just stay with it. So I'm gonna put my Mod Podge all the way down and just coat it. You know, don't be bashful about it and don't be chintzy with it. Really get it in there and get it coated so that it will lay nicely and it'll do what it's supposed to do that you need it to do. Because if it's not a lot of Mod Podge you're gonna have trouble getting it to cooperate because of the thickness of the material. So it makes a difference, it really does. So we're gonna just keep on, keep it on. I'm gonna do the whole thing all the way around. I'm just, it's like basically I'm just treating it like I'm wrapping a present. And so you just keep going, keep going, and then we're just gonna have all the elements come together. And then we're gonna go in and we're gonna cover it where we need to cover it and we're gonna do bling and just different things to make it fabulous and just keep on going this is a very heavy duty thickness it's it's not it's very heavy so um, I was disappointed with the painting and the you know sometimes you just hit a wall and things your creativity just goes out the window and out your brain and a lot of times when you're live it just is a little more it's a little different pressure you know than just regular crafting or even like video crafting, it, it, it's even different than that. So I'm gonna turn this around and I'm gonna take it and I'm cutting the corners so that I can lay the corners flat and uh, not have to worry it. I can tuck those corners in. So that's what you wanna do with your material. You wanna actually make sure that you are laying it flat and you are tucking it in. on the corners. You want to trim the corners up and you want them to lay to lay flat. You have to do that. You have to cut those corners. We want this whole piece to be flat against love, you know, flat against the deal. So, that it will do what it's supposed to do and not be wonky. So, we're going to cut this edge off at the bottom so we can get this to lay like it's supposed to lay. I don't know why my dog's being so horsey, but she is being a pain in the booty today. Wait, what? What do you want, girl? What do you need and what do you want? Okay, she wants up on that bed. I don't know, she thinks she's the princess of the universe. Zoe, hush. What, hush. Okay, and I'm just tucking these in where they need to be tucked. I'm going to go over them so it's not going to matter. All right, let me go put my dog up on the bed so she'll hush. No. What you want? I'm not going downstairs. Just come up here. Let me have you. Stop. Stop. Okay, then go away. I'm busy. Okay. Okay. This is just going to be... So stinking gorgeous. Okay, I'm gonna go up under here and tap those edges. So I'm just putting my podge where these edges are on this side and I'm gonna just absolutely take that up and tuck it. I'm gonna go over it and lay some more on there so you won't even be able to tell. So it'll work out perfectly telling you that dog has lost her mind. So I'm just tucking the material that's that's at the edge up there up underneath this ledge. And then I'm going to go back on this ledge and I'm going to put more material so you won't see it. It won't matter. But I want to make sure that all my material is laying flat to the surface because it'll make my 
other material that I put on top look more like it's supposed to. Okay, that looks very good. Okay, there we go. We're getting there, guys. This is going to be so beautiful, and they're going to be so surprised. I'm super, super excited about it because, like I said, I really fudged this thing up last night, and so I'm excited to tell them that I fixed it and show them and show them where they can come watch the video. So, they'll be thrilled. All right. Now, of course, my Podge, you get it all over your hands. It's so messy. I wish that it was not, but it is. Okay, so now we're going to measure the sides and in here. So I'm going to take this up and I'm going to hold this like this and we're going to just apply it in here like we, like so because we want it to make all the way to the top of here and see if this piece will work. And it's going to be short. So let me see. Huh. So I'm, a, I'm thinking I need to just take this piece right here. I need to straight edge it, cut it to fit the sides, and then cut it and turn it to fit the side, each side. Does that make sense? Look at how gorgeous this is going to be. It is going to be so stinking gorgeous. And guys, I should have thought of this to begin with. I can't wait for my girls to see how gorgeous this is. Let me see. Do I need to cover that? So I'm going to, I need a lip on this to go all the way down. So that's where I'm going to do it. I'm going to measure this with this top and I'm going to go straight across. And it's not going to need to go there. So I can literally cut it right here. Okay. So then we're going to start by just adding Mod Podge into my inside. I hate that I had to do this because these were my fa most favorite napkins in the whole world. And I got them at the Goodwill, so I have no idea how I'm going to find them again. But I loved them so much. And uh, I have one left now. So I'm going to have to get online and see. I do have a, it came with a tray, a cheese tray. So I am going to have to, and knives, little knives, serving knives. So I'm going to definitely need to, um, what did I do with my little piece? Oh, it's up here. Just hanging. Okay, let me do this. So I want to make sure that my ornaments are going the correct way. And I'm going to stick this in here and make sure that it is properly placed and about where I need it to cover. I want it to cover the bottom down here. So I want to make sure there's enough of that. And then I'm going to take my little scissors and I'm going to cut the corners where it meets up against the deal so that we know how much we need. Because we're going to come with it down. Okay, so I cut that edge. Now I'm going to, it's already got glue on it. So now you just want to move it around and manipulate it a little bit. And you want it to be as close to that edge as you can get it. Where you know it's coming to be where it needs to be. And then I'm going to lift this up because I want it to be straight too. So I want to make sure that I'm doing this properly. And then I'm going to take this and I'm going to lay it up against there, just like that. And make sure that it's perfectly sealed and laid down. Oh my gosh, that's so beautiful. Guys, I love this material so much. And I'm just going to cut it down like that. And it's still going up just a smidge, but that's okay. Well, I probably need to cut that just a smidge. Because we want it as even as possible right there. Even though we still have the sides to do and they can come down and meet wherever we miss up. So, it's very forgiving. 
just keep working on it. You're going to get it. You're going to get it just like you want it. And look how fabulous this box is going to be. Now, let me show you. I need to make sure I know where the hole for the bell goes. The bell goes up in here. And I need to make sure that I know. i got to keep that hole open. Because I don't want to mess up and miss the hole. And I can't see it like that. So, oh, here we go. This is where the hole goes. How fabulous is that going to look? I'm almost thinking I need to diamond dust this bell. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. I might diamond dust it and make it super blingy. Because I am a blinger and I love me some bling. Oh my gosh, look at how gorgeous this is going to be. So stinking gorgeous. I love it. I love it. But we definitely need to diamond dust that bell. We're going to make it blingy, 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 blingy. But I can't wait to show my girls on live. They're going to love it. They're going to be so surprised. So surprised. And of course, I'm making a wide mess up in here, but that's okay. What's new? Once you follow me and start watching me, you'll know I make messes and I, I sometimes things work and sometimes things don't work. But you know what? That's just part of crafting. And that's the funnest thing about crafting and the most, I think, creative part of crafting is that sometimes, you know, and I mean, of course you want every project to work out, but they don't. They just don't. They don't always work. What you see in your head and what, you, what comes to life sometimes are two completely different things. And it's really part of the... It's all part of the process. It's all part of the creative process. So I don't want to ever, you know, undermine that because I love the thought of it. I love everything about that. So I'm just going to do this. I need to turn on my um, air conditioner because it's so hot up in here. These lights just are a killer. Okay, so we've got that decoupage. Now I'm going to go back since I'm already back here. And I'm going to lift this up, this material. I'm going to tuck it up and let it hold up there for a second. And I'm going to decoupage down here. And I'm going to just come on down with my little material and cover this spot right here. And I'm going to pop it down. And then I'm just going to cover it up. Now, I will tell you, it's a little short back here. It doesn't matter because this is the back and no one's going to see it. But um, I'm not sure we're not going to go and add more stuff to it all the way around it. I don't know what we're doing. But I'm not going to get caught up on that. And if I need to do something about it, I can fix it. That is an easy, easy fix. No biggie at all. Okay, guys. This is going to turn out better than I thought. Again, I'm beyond thrilled. And I'm super, super excited about getting to show it to my girls. And I'm happy that I'm sharing this with you guys. So I'm going to turn this around so you can see, and I'm going to tuck this down for just a second, and I'm going to start working on my front, which is an, probably way more important than the back, honestly. Let's be real. It needs to look a little more uniform in the front than it does in the back. And guess what? This is short, too, in the, back, in the front, but we can fix anything. That's what I want to tell you guys. Anything we do, we can fix. So, I'm not going to get so caught up in the fact that it's a little short here and a little short there. I'm not great at measuring. I need to probably get better at that, but it is what it is. And we're not going to just not going to be worried about it. Even though this is the front, it can be fixed. It can be fixed. And I personally like the I like the excitement of trying to fix things and to make things better and to add to things and and make it uh, fun and creative and different. You know, I like to make things that are different. Dif just, I do.
Oops, I just dropped my brush, but that's okay. Okay, now I'm going to turn it around and show you guys. We still have this one little section that we need to finish. And then um, we need to figure out what kind of bling. I think I'm going to go around it with bling. So that's why I'm not really overly worried about the um, extent of what is uh, missing and what is not missing because we're going to add to it. So it's not going to really matter. But look how fast it's already drying and how much, oh my gosh, it's just already looks a million times better than it did. And I'm so thrilled with it. So I'm going to go ahead and do this little corner right here and get it on and hope that we don't run out of material. Wouldn't that just be something? That would just be par for the course. I'm just telling you. All right, I'm gonna put this piece right here and I'm gonna just go ahead and decoupage over on my napkin. See, I have napkins, I have paint on this thing and it just does not matter. It's not gonna matter one bit. We're just gonna decoupage all over all over this and then we're gonna get it all blingy. I'm gonna go over it and I'm gonna put a really thick shiny coat of sealer over it because I want it to be glossy and shiny and, and spectacular. So um, I'm excited to show the girls today. I'm so excited. Man guys, we had so much fun last night on my on my uh, channel on my uh, on Facebook um, we really had a good time I <laughs> I think they really love it when I mess up and things don't work out actually I'm beginning to think that's what they love the most they like to see me squirm but they know most of them that are there know I'm gonna pull it out of my hat one way or the other I'm gonna get through it and it's gonna be just fine they don't ever fret because they know they know that I will get it taken care of. I can get her done. And uh, it's what makes it so much fun over there. So, if you have a Facebook, I would appreciate it if you go follow me over there, too. If you don't, I understand. I'm happy to have you here. And, like, vice versa. If you have Facebook and you want to come, I would appreciate the follows on YouTube. Just to help a sister out. just to help a sister out. Okay, so now I'm gonna decoupage this material onto this bad boy right here. Get it decoupaged, and then I'm gonna cut this trim off on the side because this has got extra material that needs to be cut off. Now, when it's dry, after it's had a chance to really dry well, you can totally file it off with a, with a, file, uh, a sand block in your sandpaper, or you can uh, trim it off, whatever you need to do to make it look right. And that is what we're going to do. We need to make sure that that is all the way over because we want it to be trimmed off. It is the excess, and I will show you all in just a second what I'm talking about. We do not want any corner showing, and I need that to be to the front so that it's gone oh gosh guys this is gonna turn out so stinking pretty and I may wait to embellish it and finish it I don't know maybe I should just finish it on this video I don't want to leave y'all hanging and I can surprise the girls with the finished product and they will love it and it'll be so awesome so awesome oh, I've got stuff Flying everywhere, that decoupage, just flying everywhere. This is turning out even more beautiful than I thought it would. I'm super stoked about it. Okay. Now I'm going to just lay that down up there. I don't know. I may need to trim that off because we don't really need that up there. So we'll see. We'll see. But I for sure want to trim this part off over here. And I'll show you after I trim it what I'm talking about. It is the... Okay. Let me get just a little more of that off. We don't want that to be on there. I 
should have cut it off before I glued it because it, it would have been a better edge. But, you know, hindsight's 50-50. And I go, it's usually as I go. That's what happens. So, anyway, I am, do not know what is wrong with this stinking dog of mine. She is determined to be a brat. Zoe, hush. I'm almost finished. Almost finished, girl. Mod Podge gets everywhere on your fingers. And it kind of, after a while, causes an issue. But we're going to go with it. And I'll clean my fingers off in a second. And let me get this little booty bit up here laid down. We definitely do not need that edge up. And get it all laid down. Okay. Now, here we go. I cut this section off right here. Just at the edge of the uh, material. And I've got Mod Podge everywhere. I'm just peeling it off. <laughs> because it's literally it reminds me of like when you were a kid. And you put glue on your hands and you could peel it off. Did y'all ever do that as a kid? I feel like I did. I don't know why. It all feels like I'm having a deja vu moment. All right. Now, y'all saw that. Now, I have one section up front that I need to finish. So, I'm going to go ahead and get that finished. And then, I'm going to go in and I'm going to finish my sides and my top. And then, we're going to be good to go. And we're going to start mixing, mixing our metals and our mediums. And we're going to start playing around and seeing what we can come up with. I have all kinds of fun mediums around here. I was thinking of adding some totally dazzled bling, which I have around here somewhere. Um, I'm not really sure where I have it, but I do have it. Um, I'll have to find it in just a second. I don't know what happened to it. Hmm. There's no telling. There is really absolutely no telling what happened to that bling. But, um, we'll get it, we'll get it found. All right, let me get this little section done. And I can see where this needs to be glued on the inside and laid down. Because we definitely do not need to see that. We just want to make it as uniformed and look as, uh, straight and nice as possible. Okay, so I'm going to take a little section of this, I believe, because it's kind of got a straight edge. Let me cut this off. Hmm. I'm trying to figure out at what point do you cut. Okay, that is that section right there. So that would mean that is that. Interesting. Okay, so... Here. Okay, let me cut that piece off. And then we don't need this piece right here. Okay. Alright, I'm just trying to measure it because I do have a little section that doesn't need a whole lot and so I want it to be as uniformed as possible and I want to be able to take off as much as possible. Okay, Zoe, I don't know what you want, girl. I just don't know. I don't know what you want. I have no idea. She's driving me absolutely bonkers, guys. Sorry, my dog is being ridiculous. You know, that's how they are sometimes. 
she thinks it's all about her, I guess, and she's being silly. Okay, Zoe. Okay, so again, when you're at a corner, snip the corner so you can lay it flat. So it's it lays in just like it's supposed to. So it doesn't look like it's uh, extra, just like it's supposed to be there. And it will lay flat. It's kind of like wrapping a present, really. It really, really, really is. And so that's what we're kind of making this be like. It's like wrapping a present. This box has definitely been the uh, been a challenge to do, and I, I'm hoping that by the end of this, we will have ourselves the most fabulous thing worked out. And I'm I'm hoping that it just turns out spectacular, and we're all happy with it. And I hope all the girls are surprised. Because I think they were like me. They had very little hope at the end that this was going to be able to be anything of any significance. So, uh, I was really hoping that I could really make it turn into something. So, we'll see. I'm not going to lose hope over it just yet. Alright, now I have a little few spots over here behind this one little side. And I am going to do this, this back part. Uh, because I did the other sides, so I'm going to do all my sides, but I'm going to do that last. And so we're just taking, and I'm folding and creasing and decoupaging these corners and these sides. Just like this. Just doing it just like this. got that down. Now we need to go in and we need to somehow get these three sides done. And then I'll do this very last back corner. Very, very last back corner. Alright, so that piece is not going to be enough. Let's see, I have enough to do all sides. I just want to make sure my pieces are kind of getting wonky. And I don't want... I need at least two of those and then the top can be a little wonky because you're not going to see it. So I'm going to straighten this across and then I'm going to take this in and I'm going to measure and I'm going to make it come to this point right here. So I'm thinking I'm going to do, nope, that's not going to work. All right, let me get this part off too. Cut this part and just use what will work make my lines a little bit more I want to make the lines a little bit more uniform because it just makes it simpler more simple when you're trying to uh, measure if your lines are straight so I've got this one section right here so I'm just trying to trim up until I get my lines just straight enough so that I don't have all this wonky material to have to work around um, and I just need these two sides. So this should be enough to do both those sides. And I just need it to measure up to here on that inside because that already has material coming all the way down. So we just need to measure it. And this needs to come around because it needs to, to tuck right here. So I'm going to cut this right here. And then that's where I know that I need to cut. And then I need to do the length. So we'll get the length after I get this cut, this piece cut. And honestly, after I get it done, I can measure both sides because they're exactly the same. So once I get this cut, I can just measure the side and then I will, I can actually do three sides. So then I'll know exactly how much, except I don't need as much on this side. So I'm actually not gonna do that because one side in the back is already done because I had overlaid some in here. So, um, and I did do those backwards, which I did not pay attention, but I don't think it's going to matter because the, it's so busy that it's just not going to make a difference, guys. It really is not going to make a difference. So now I'm just taking my Mod Podge and I'm just putting a nice, thick, even coat all the way up and down. Oh my gosh, that dog is going to drive me crazy. I don't know what she wants. It's just, she's not ever like that. I guess I need to go check her water 
and let her go outside and see. Those are the only two things I can think of that she would want. It's not time for her to eat, so I don't think that's it. Um, I'm also supposed to have dinner with my friend. I guess I should check on the time for that, too. I had no idea what time it is. Oh, it's, I'm almost finished. I'm almost out of time, so we need to get this bad, bad boy running and going. All right, I'm just going to take my material and run it up here to the very edge because I already have a little bit of a lip coming back, so I don't need to worry about it 100% covering. Guys, this material is super busy, so it doesn't matter. So now let me get this really good and glued on here. I'm going to take this section right here because I don't need it to go all the way across because I have material down at the bottom already. So I'm going to cut that across, get that off there, get this to meet, and then I'm going to come back here and I'm going to lay this material back here. So I'm going to do this, and I'm going to cut this corner. Every corner, you need to go in and slice your material so that it lays flat because it is not going to lay flat. It's just not going to lay flat if you don't do that. It is literally, you just need to think of it as literally wrapping a present. It's just 